Also happening today, Cleveland Hopkins International Airport announced that Alaska Airlines will be providing nonstop service to Seattle next year. The service is expected to have an economic impact of about $100 million. The flights begin on June 16th, so you can start booking them now. Alaska Airlines will also add a second daily round trip between Seattle and Cincinnati and Columbus the same day. Hmm. It's always good news when you get yes. another carrier to come to the state. I've flown Alaska Airlines many times, and I have to tell you, their service is tremendous. I always have had good experiences flying their airline. It's always nice, as I said, to have another carrier. I did some research today and looked at, to see how many travelers we put through the, uh, the airport, uh, Hopkins International. At one time, we were up to 14 million passengers yeah. a year. So we're the now, hub. Obviously, last year we were down to four million COVID crazy. based. We're at almost five million for the year to date. Right. Still have a couple of months to go. It would be nice if we could get that number back up to the at least 10 million plateau, which mm -hmm. is where we were pre COVID and pretty steadily there. Yeah, well, you know, when we lost the Continental Hub, that was such big a, a big loss. And, you know, United is still paying for the D gates, which you're just sitting out there as birdhouses right now. Uh, but, you know, it's an interesting thing that we have all this room and, and it there's capacity all over the place. Cleveland charges some of the highest rates for landings uh, here in the state of Ohio, and that kind of puts us at a little bit of a disadvantage. So yep. to have something new coming in, maybe that can hopefully someday start to offset some of those costs. Yeah, we certainly hope so. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, still ahead for us.